by asking you about the challenges of adapting the mm -hmm. off-Broadway musical to the big screen and the challenges of shooting. Um, the challenge for me, I was very, very clear that I didn't want uh, to Hollywoodize it. I wanted it to be uh, the way that Jason had originally created it. Um, so I didn't want to impose a screenplay on it. Uh, what I did was write uh, a script in, in um, for lack of a better term, film language, where uh, you, you uh, this is what the camera's doing, uh, this is where, what period we're in, this is what the costumes and makeup and hair look like, these are the props we're using, um, this is what uh, the staging is going to be like. And, uh, and that was fun, uh, because I got to stage a musical, and I so loved the, ma the material, I wasn't second-guessing the material like I do for my own stuff. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the great part of it. The challenges were were slight really, it was mostly, I guess sound challenges mostly because they were singing live, mm -hmm. but we had a really tight crew and um, and once we had our locations and, and all of that, uh, it worked really well, we shot it in 21 days. Yeah, yeah, and Jeremy, let me ask you about singing in the mm. film and you know, kind of comparing that to singing on stage and the differences and challenges for you. Uh, for, for me, it's it's it, it, it's it was it's sort of similar. Um, you know, it just uh, you just don't have a full orchestra backing you up. You just have a little in-ear monitor, and uh, but it, it's the same sort of sentiment. You know, it's 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 just the same as speaking dialogue. Uh, uh, when you when you're working with good material specifically, and uh, and the story is told through the song as opposed to just here's a little ditty, and that's a very different sort of feel. But this musical is nothing like that. Every every lyric tells part of the story. So um, it's, it, and I think uh, the, the best compliment that we've sort of gotten from people is that they forget that they were singing. And, and it does feel like we're just watching a movie with dialogue and two people really interacting and, and sharing very intimate. Absolutely. Uh, let me ask you both about Anna Kendrick. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only is she a great actress, but she could sing. Yes, yeah, she can. Tell yeah. me about casting her and maybe you talk about working with her. Uh, Anna was cast uh, before Pitch Perfect came out. I cast her because uh, Todd Grass is a really good friend of mine, and I loved her in Cannes. And I had been trying to do this for many years, put this together. Mm -hmm. And um, she loves Parade, which is a, a musical that Jason did. It's her favorite show. She loves his music, but she didn't know the show at all. Mm -hmm. So we met and immediately connected, and she's the perfect Kathy, and then apparently she read the screenplay first without listening to the music, and she really felt connected to it, and then she listened to the score, and, and we got her. So we were very lucky about that. Yeah, Jeremy, working with her. Oh, she's fantastic. You know, she gives you uh, everything that you could sort of ever want from a scene partner on screen, and, uh, you know, she, she uh, being from the theater myself and her being really rooted in film, mm -hmm. although she has done theater uh, when she was younger, um, you know, I, I just I learned a lot about uh, about acting for the camera from her, and um, and I and I I think that we were sort of very good foils for each other because I'm the sort of hyper excited one, and she was much more uh, calm and, and down to earth, but also has this great dry dry humor, and every once in a while she just <laughs> had this firecracker sensibility, um, uh, unpr unpredictability, and and uh, it was it was really fun to be around. And Richard, you actually cast some of the former Kathy's yes. from the off-Broadway play in the film. Yes, uh, Sherry Renee Scott is the original uh, Kathy on the original soundtrack, and she's in um, When You Come Home to Me. She's one of the people that Anna's auditioning for. Yeah. Betsy Wolf, which was the last production off-Broadway, played Kathy, and she's the uh, stripper with the with the snake. <laughs> I love having those little Easter eggs. In oh, they're all over the place. Yeah. Jason's in the movie. Richard's Jason's in the movie. Jason's in the movie. Yeah. In the movie. Uh, I tried to get Norbert, but his schedule didn't work. I really wanted Norbert as well, but I, I could, uh, his schedule didn't work out. My wife's in the movie. Really? Who's That's right. Where's she? She's she's the sexy waitress. She's uh, no sex. Uh, I'm not a waitress. Recep she's, she's the, the sexy waitress. Oh, that he winds up sleeping with. Oh. Yes. Not too bad. Cheated on my wife with my wife. It's very <laughs> meta. Who's also? Cheated though. It's like if the tree falls in the forest. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you decide for yourself. <laughs> we'll end it there. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. Seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you.